Hello everyone. Welcome to Physiotherapy in Lesotho. www.physioinlesotho.ch. You are listening to a podcast from one of our physio workshop in Lesotho. Your speaker is Ndade Tuso, W Fasa, a qualified physiotherapist. The treatment of neuropathy and we will have a look at the physio treatment of neuropathy. So the treatment of neuropathy is always a combined treatment. That means we have the treatment from the doctor with some medicines, we have the treatment with physiotherapy and self-treatment for the patient, and we have nutritional advices. So the treatment of neuropathy is always based on these three elements. It's the more medical treatment by medicines. Then there is the physio treatment. And there is the nutritional advice. Every patient with neuropathy, if it is idiopathic, if it is diabetic, if it is acquired neuropathy, should have the medical treatment by the doctor, the physio and nutritional advices. Let's remember that. We could see before one of the causes is malnutrition or somehow diet. The wrong way to eat, the wrong diet can cause problems in the nervous system. We will talk about. So nutritional advice is very important. And we have specific nutritional advices for people with neurodegenerative disease. That means neuropathy. So every neuropathy treatment <coughs> is on three levels. The medical level, the physio level and nutrition level. We should think about that. Now... On the medical level, the doctor has to find out what's the cause of this neuropathy. Is it idiopathic, is it diabetes, or is it acquired? If it is diabetes, it's so essential that this diabetes is well cured, that the patient has the proper medicines, takes it regularly, that the diabetes level is as low as possible, that this patient is doing enough movement, eating the proper diet, so, and that they don't have other problems. So the doctor has to check that. So diabetes has to be well cared to prevent or cure neuropathy. If diabetes is not well cared, is diabetes all the time too high, the risk that this neuropathy is getting worse and cannot be cured is very high. So therefore, Diabetes patient has to be really followed by the doctor and the nurse for diabetes. It's difficult to treat diabetic neuropathy if diabetes is not treated. So they have to be followed nicely, clearly. The doctor, when it is an acquired neuropathy, will find out which type is it. When it is drug-related, maybe he can change the drugs. Maybe he cannot. If it is toxin-related, he can find out what's the problem here. If it is maybe trauma-related, he can refer him to physio and say, listen, he had a trauma on the elbow, there is tissue damage, there is tightening of the tissue, and somehow giving a nerve entrapment, work on that tissue. So the doctor has to find out what is the reason for acquired neuropathy and to deal with it. It has to be cleared what's the reason of neuropathy. Then, when we come to nutrition, before we go into physio, let's talk about nutrition. We understand today, we haven't had an idea 20 years ago, but today we know it exactly. When people eat mainly carbohydrates, that means bread, Pizza, pasta, polenta, also the, the papa, sugar, chocolate, fancy drinks, all these things. If they eat 
mainly this type of, of ingredients, they will develop sublime, that means very gentle inflammations in the body. They are metabolic, these inflammations. And this inflammation will attack the nerve. So they are exposed to degenerative changes in the nervous system due to nutrition. So if we have a high carbohydrate diet, that means we eat a lot of bread, we eat every day maybe spaghetti or uh, papa, we eat a lot of bread, we said, or we take a lot of sugar because sugar is carbohydrate. If we take a lot of sugar every day, we eat chocolate, we drink fancy drinks. When we do this type of nutrition, carbohydrate, high nutrition, after a few years, the body will develop inflammation which can attack the nervous system and prepare the road for neuropathy. Therefore, that means when you change nutrition to a carbohydrate low nutrition and you increase proteins, that means you eat more fish and chicken, white meat, you eat lentils and probably you buy, you know this capsule with omega-3, you can buy it in the pharmacy. It's somehow like it's an integrated, like vitamins. It's made by fish oil. If you integrate with that, things become better. So if we have a neuropathy patient, and that patient has a high carbohydrate diet, and eats a lot of sugar, and fancy drinks, that patient really shall change the nutrition to a carbo low, low carbohydrate food, and then with much more proteins, much more vegetables, and integrating different types of oils. Not only sunflower oil, they shall buy as well a bottle of olive oil, they shall use the fish oil, some different types of oil. We are used to eat Rama, isn't it? Yes. But there is the real butter as well, made by milk. Real butter is much more healthy as Rama. Rama, unfortunately, it's nice to eat, but it's not healthy at all for the body. It's synthetic. So, the real butter is much better. And the have to eat different type of oils, not only sunflower oil. They have to change it a little bit. It costs a bit olive oil, but it helps them. And then to take these fish oil capsules, which you now you get it in the pharmacy. Probably you, you have seen students sometimes like to buy them because they say then they are more intelligent. It's, it's not wrong because nervous system works better when you get regularly this fish oil, it helps to the nervous system. This omega-3, for many things, they are regular. And it helps as well to the nervous system. So, patients with neuropathy, they should start to eat low-carbohydrate diet. They shall increase proteins, everyday proteins, from white meat. They shall use different type of oils, not only one. And if possible, they should take these uh, fish oil capsules and they shall integrate lentils. Times ago, farmers were even producing them up here, but now it's difficult to get them. But in Maseru, you get them. You can get them. Happy, there is something else. This patient, they shall eat every week at least one lemon. Lemon has a lot of vitamins. Lemon juice, maybe you buy a bit lemon juice, but if you have the fruit, it's even better. You eat that fruit. If you have only the juice, okay, you have the juice. And every week they should eat one egg. And that egg should be cooked just slightly. We call it decoque. It should be slightly, not really hard-boiled egg slightly cooked, because when it is slightly cooked, it has some enzymes which help to assimilate vitamin B12. 
So one lemon a week or a cup of lemon juice and one egg slightly cooked. Of course, it must be an egg from a healthy chicken. Not just an egg maybe from the Chinese shop. It has to be egg from a healthy chicken. And then you cook a little bit and eat that. That would be good. What is really important, and this is the effort we have to ask to do the patient, and it's not easy, but it is possible, reduce sugar. Sugar consume normally is far too high. I cannot tell you how much sugar children eat at home. In Italy, it's terrible. In the morning, sugar. Then in the break, during the morning, sugar, chocolate, and, and sweets, and on. Then after lunch, sugar, biscuits. The afternoon, sugar, biscuits, chocolate, um, all these things. Too much sugar. Or as we know, we all know, and I don't want to blame, but we all know, we like to have a cup of tea, one spoon, two spoon, three spoon of sugars, and even big ones. I know elderly people, they like three tablespoons of sugar in a cup of coffee. I tell you, this is far too much. Researchers today, they say, sugar is a poison to the nerve. Imagine. When I've heard that the first time, I said, Helam, he's somehow exaggerating. I like a coffee with a bit of sugar. But now we understand, if you abuse sugar, if you take too much of this white sugar, not in one day, not in a month, but after a few years, your nervous system will get damaged. And today we know there are much more people with dementia. A bit it's because they get older, but we know it comes by nutrition. If the nutrition is on high carbohydrate and a lot of sugar consumed, we damage the nerve. So knowing all that, we know with neuropathy patients, we have really to give them a health talk. We have to say, you have to change the way you eat. It will be better for your nerves. If you eat high carbohydrate and a high consume of sugars, you will run down your nerves. You will make worse that problem. If you change to a low carbohydrate diet with more protein from white meat, you change different types of oils, you take lenses, you take this egg and the lemon, and you reduce really your sugar con consume, your body will help you to cure. It will really change. And these people, people after a month or two eating like this, they can feel the change. So let's remember, neuropathy is really caused or boosted by the wrong nutrition. And when we are used to eat sugar, we always want to eat sugar. We have the impression we need sugar because the body has got dependent. We can be dependent to sugar if somebody can be dependent to alcohol. We can be dependent to sugar as somebody is dependent to dacha. We can have a dependency to sugar. And as more sugar you eat, as more sugar you want to have. And you think you need it. But it's not true. When you stop eating sugar after two weeks, you are not even thinking about it. Your body doesn't ask you anymore. So that means it's dependency. And who didn't try that will not believe it. But when you try it, you say, okay, now I reduce sugar for one week, and then I stop eating sugar. You will see, after two, three weeks, you are not demanding sugar. The dependency is already over, and then things become better in our body. How does that sound to you? Can you discuss that with your neighbor? How does that sound to you? What do you think about that teaching? What do you think about when I say sugar is a poison? Can you discuss that among yourself, please? <laughs> <laughs>